Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper, Trader, Guide, Scout, and Interpreter, and just a country cook, Steve Hall here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila running that camera. Hi, Sheila. Hi. Today we're going to do a recipe that was made famous down in Savannah, Georgia, at a restaurant called The Trailer Park. Believe it or not, that's the name of it. And they came up with peanut butter and jelly chicken wings. We're going to try to copy the recipe. We'll never get it the same as those guys got it. But let's see if we can get close to this recipe because it looks so delicious. Come on over, let's get started. Well, we got a nice little bowl of chicken wings here, and what they do is they coat them with a cornstarch slurry before they deep fry them. So we made one, and what is a cornstarch slurry? It's just 50-50 water and cornstarch. So take a one cup measuring cup, fill it half full of water, and then keep putting cornstarch in until it hits one cup. Stir it a lot until it gets real smooth and pour it over the top of your chicken wings. And we're going to kind of let them set in that slurry for a little bit over here. Just for a second, make sure it gets on all of them. It's not really a breading at all, it's just a coating to make them crispy on the outside. And a lot of our recipes, whether we're doing deep fried chicken livers or whatever, we've been using a lot of cornstarch in our flour. Boy, it makes it so crispy. All right, well, we got them coated with that slurry. Now, we're going to make our sauce. Let's see how we're doing over here. We're up to about 300 degrees on the oil. We'll throw them wings in there in just a second. All right, in here, we're going to put about a cup of jelly. That looks pretty close. And about a cup of peanut butter. You make it 50-50 depending upon how many wings you're going to be coating. And I'm probably making more than I really need to, but I just wanted to show it to you. That's about right. Then we're going to put in one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of shiraka or whatever they call it. I can never pronounce that. Whether it's Worcestershire or shiraka, I can never pronounce either one of them. So. That don't want to quite all, I need a smaller spoon that's not coated with peanut butter. So I'll just add just a touch more right out of the bottle. That's close enough. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the heat and we're going to stir this all together here to start with. Kind of try to mix it up a little bit. And the magic ingredient that they put in this, I'm going to show you in just one second here. Boy, that smells good already. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put in some orange juice, enough to make it a real nice juicy coat your chicken wings kind of liquid here. Let's see here. I'm going to keep going. I didn't measure this out in the recipe ahead of time and you don't have to either. Just keep stirring that. Boy, it looks just like their stuff right there, too. Outstanding. A little more orange juice. That looks about right. I'd say about, oh, half to three quarters of a cup, maybe a little less. I might have thinned it out some, but I'm going to cook it and simmer it down anyway. So, with this made, we got that out of the way, so to speak. We're going to put in just a little bit of pecans in here. We're going to save some to put on top of our wings when they're done, but that's what they do. They also put pecans in there for flavoring. All right, let's move to our next step. Well, all right, let's see how crazy these wings do in here. Now this oil is at 350 degrees, and you want to cook your chicken wings for 8 to 10 minutes. So let me look at the time. I got exactly 5 minutes too. You want to cook these for 8 to 10 minutes, depending upon how safe you think the internal temperature should be on it. All right, I'm not sure I can get all these in here. I might have to do two batches. Yeah, I'll settle it down right there. All right, to be safe, nine and a half minutes. 
I think we could have got by with eight, but we'll go nine and a half just to be safe there. Put them on some paper towels. I should have went with a bigger deep fryer so I could have got them all in one shot here. But I'm sure you'll do that at your house. Let's uh, put in the next little batch here. And again, these don't have any batter on them. They're just coated with that cornstarch slurry. 50-50 is what I'm trying to get out of my mouth. 50% water, 50% cornstarch. Makes them really crunchy on the outside. They look terrific over there, don't they, Sheila? They do. Two to go. All right. We'll see you in another nine and a half minutes. You know, we were talking about cooking times, eight minutes, ten minutes, all that kind of stuff. I have found out that through deep frying everything, it floats to the surface pretty much when it's done, and then you give it another minute or so, whether it's fish, and we deep fry pork tenderloin, and now these wings. See how they're all floating? Earlier they were on the bottom, and uh, this is right at about nine and a half minutes. I'm going to put another layer of paper towels down here to drain these. And first thing tomorrow, I'm going to go get me another one of these induction cooking cooktop so while this is deep frying I could have been simmering this sauce over here and I'll tell you something before we go any further I took this little sauce Sheila did too mixed up it isn't even been heated yet mm. wow there's an Asian restaurant that we eat at here in Nashville that has peanut butter chicken but this peanut butter and jelly and orange juice wing formula this is outstanding let's get over here and get doing this did I just say let's get over here and get doing this yes, you did. <laughs> I've been hanging around Sheila a long time she, she, she says you're starting to talk like you're from Alabama a little bit there <laughs> don't mean that disrespectful to Alabama because they got a lot of great folks down there and they know how to cook too now this is on medium heat I want to bring this up gentle so it doesn't burn I'm going to get this nice and hot, and then I'm going to let it simmer for a little bit. So I'm going to see you in about five minutes of letting this sauce simmer, and then we'll be right back. Man, this smells so good. It's been simmering for about five minutes now, and you know what? Because I didn't have two burners like you have at home, so I could be cooking this at the same time I'm deep frying, I'm going to take these wings that have cooled off and put them in here. Let me see. Let me put this back on medium-high again start my little, I don't know why that little burner quit, but I'm going to put my wings right in this sauce and tumble them around and make them reheat themselves, so to speak. We're going to heat them back up. That'll be one little batch for our one little tray there. I'm going to do these nice and hot for about, oh, just about a minute. Be right back. Bubbling away, and look what we have in here. Peanut butter and jelly wings. They got to taste delicious because the sauce tastes delicious. All right. Let me get my next little batch in here and warm them up. That's kind of a neat idea is you can pre-cook these and then have your sauce ready and then just heat them up as your guests want them. I'm going to put this back on medium a little bit. Get these coated really good. We'll see in another minute or so once these are bubbling away and I know these are nice and hot too. See you then. All right. These are nice and hot. Transfer them over to our little basket with our parchment paper in there. It look like we're eating at the drive-in. Perfect. Now we're going to top these with a little bit of pecans on top. This is what they do at the trailer park restaurant in Savannah. A little bit of pecans. Let me get the other one up here. He needs his treatment. 
just bought a bag of them real fine pecan chips at the store. Put a little bit of them in here, of course. Then they put just a little shot, I guess for color and for flavor, of green onion on top. And doesn't that look absolutely scrumptious? Thanks for creating this recipe. I wanted to share it with all of our YouTubers, hopefully future YouTubers as well. And there we have peanut butter and jelly wings. Well, there you have it, peanut butter and jelly chicken wings. I can't wait to try one of these because the sauce tastes fantastic. Well, we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in just a little bit. Click on that to subscribe. And right next to the subscribe box with your check mark there, be a little bell. If you click on that, it'll drop down a notification box. And what that means is you want to be notified every time we come out with a new recipe. But unless you highlight that and hit save, they'll only send you one every now and then. But we really hope you look at all of them. So if you enjoy our recipes, we'll put another one up over here. And is this the best peanut butter and jelly chicken wing recipe you ever ate? If it ain't, it ought to be. This is Steve Hall in Nashville, Tennessee saying, we're heading to the kitchen to have some lunch. Did you enjoy this recipe, Sheila? I did. I did too. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Don't forget to share it with all your friends too. Bye-bye.